my life is politics. Even when I propose a girl, I, I use political analysis. Who the hell is Julius Malema? Ask anyone and you'll get a different answer. Who is this guy now? This is not the Julius Malema we learned about. You were like crazy back in the day. Flip flopper is a title given to me by my enemies. We are full of ideas. My heart. I don't even think Julius knew that this was going to be his life. Starting in the ANC is a, is a position that is powerful. You're at the top. Let's admit, politics disconnects and fiction brings us closer together. This is the unofficial Showmax movie of Julius Malema. Action! We are in Limpopo. It's March 1981. And a healthy baby boy greets the day with a cry. He lives in Sechehu Township. I'm a child of a domestic worker. My mother suffered epilepsy. She couldn't do anything for me. She burned when she was working. When she came out of a bath, I used to run to her because I had hoped she came back with some leftovers. She was a single mother. He was raised by his granny. The gentleman that they say is my father is one of many people who came. It's very good. I'm actually rich that people want to be my parents. While other kids indulged their imagination with toys and TV, Julius became hyper aware of his reality. The poverty and conditions around him struck a nerve. And as the ANC led the struggle against oppression, Malema found himself a spot on the theatrical stage of real life. The potential here was the possibility of everything he wanted, family, father figures, and the ability to change the world. And the ANC saw him. In 1976, it was stones against guns. And now it is gun against gun. He was just nine when he joined the ANC. His first job, removing national party posters. He got military training at the age of 13. And when he attended the assassinated Chris Honey's funeral in 1993, his pocket was lined with a loaded nine mil. While Malema struggled in school, he quickly moved up the political ladder, chairing the ANC Youth League locally and regionally as well as the Congress of South African Students. We would like to say something about COSAS there to respect this night vigil. But it was being elected as the president of the ANC Youth League in 2008 that put Malema on a podium like never before. Actually, I've never been provoked in my lifetime like he did. You know, I ended up swearing, pointing him with fingers, saying, hey, you know what, I'll beat the hell out of you. Then he said, come, come. Comrades, welcome the president of the Institute, League, Comrade Julius Malema. Julius opened up his heart to a relationship and put it out to the public, but there were mixed feelings. I've got a rebel soul. His Tinder bio? He's into monogamy, but his BFF believes in the power of the shower. What's the one thing you would get rid of if I wasn't around? Zuma. <laughs> He's into cosplay, but only if it's camouflage. He's a part-time DJ, but a full-time Alpha Sigma. Losers, all those things, you must check them. You are a small boy, you can't do anything. I didn't come here to be Come no. out, go out. Bastard. Go out. Buys Louis Vuitton, but Tata Madiba keeps telling him to apply for Virgin Active. And Madiba said to me, if you want to lead our youth and our society, you're going to have to lose some weight. Oh, and favorite color? Red. What is the one character that uh, should people find out about you? They'll be like, what? I don't believe that. Very what is shy. the one thing? Very shy. Some swiped left, or rather far right, and considered his sentiment a sweet nothings. So it seems to us that, that Malema has, has anger issues. Like any good movie on Showmax, we know that people will keep watching a character. 
noble or awful, as long as they're fascinating. Just ask Batman, Walter White, or that dude from The Sopranos. You have to joyfully participate in the suffering of the world. Cue the popcorn. Julius Malema is our anti-hero. One who desires a little chaos. Once again, the white controlled media, you are wrong. Started from the bottom, now we hear. Instead of pulling posters off polls, he captivated the youth. And with speeches often outrageous, he became the ogre in others' nightmares. He was convicted of hate speech by the Equality Court, over comments he made about the woman who accused Zuma of rape, saying she had a nice time and wouldn't ask for taxi money and breakfast in the morning if she had been raped. But times were good for the newly appointed Malema. This 28-year-old had some dough in his pockets, an upmarket Santon home, designer clothes, Parties. Put the DA on my way here. Shorty said she coming with a bed dress cause she saw a young nigga pull up in the rover. And where the money came from is a question that got asked again and again. So you're a property owner? Yes, but that's nothing in the bigger scheme of things. It's a bond. And it's a big bond, I'm yeah, sure. Where do I get money to build such a mansion within a short space of time? It's none of your business. Questions over why a man who says he represents the poor is building himself a two million dollar mansion. I've never seen a million. You come here, you make an allegation that I've got 140 million. But if he doesn't stop lying about me, I'm gonna tell the world that I actually do give him money. <laughs> what beamed even brighter than Malema's Breitling watch was his support for Zuma. I'm prepared to pay the highest price on earth in defense of Zuma. The controversial Jacob Zuma. He's escaped corruption charges and was acquitted of rape. What we do in governing the country, we do it for the people of this country, not for ourselves. We prepared to take up arms and kill for Zuma. South Africans lined up around blocks and waited hours to vote. That includes former Nobel Peace Prize winner Desmond Tutu. Zuma was elected into power and the two of them went together like a BMW after one too many belts. Viva ANC Youth League, viva! viva. We I cannot know. afford to allow these white people to charge our president for singing a revolutionary song which has been sung for the past 90 years. How many leaders has been charged before President Judas Malema? Translated, the song calls for the killing of white farmers, a possible incitement to genocide. The songs of the revolution are banned in a democratic South Africa, a country we fought for. Ons is 34 graden sit. Saam staan ons vast tegen uitspraak. Af die forums haatspraak saak tegen Julius Malema word tans in die hoogrechtshof aangehoor. Jy kan ook vast staan tegen Julius Malema. Sadly, the support for Zuma was just a flash in the pan. Youth League members of the governing African National Congress fighting with police. Their leader accused of bringing the party into disrepute. The respondent's membership is suspended for a period of five years and the respondent shall vacate his position as president of the ANC Youth League. Papa had gepraat. Waiting out the five year suspension would mean that Malema will be too old to serve on the ANC Youth League. It is a, a battle of wills between the young lion, Julius Malema, and the old fox, Jacob Zuma. The winner is not going to win on points. He is going to win by knockout. South Africa's ruling party, the African National Congress, expelled Malema for calling for the government of Botswana to be overthrown. I did not kill anybody and I'm persecuted for speaking on behalf of the ANC Youth League. I'm not prepared to sell out under any circumstances. He became the kingmaker, uttered unnerving words. Even Zuma said, ish. Who's president Zuma to talk about discipline? After sleeping with children of his friends, the children would look up to you. The inner nine-year-old Malema felt a sense of betrayal. Those of us who committed our lives, including our childhood, to the African National Congress, were being rejected today. His appeal denied. 
The works have been arresting me every weekend. Eh? <laughs> but every time I embark on a political program, I know the following Monday, Malema to be arrested. Do that, then I'm going to arrest you. No, 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 no. Arrest you can say, oh, oh, oh. Oh, and we are working. We are working. What you can say, oh. I don't have anything. I don't have a gun. Nothing. I'm going to an approved meeting. What to do? The man has hopes and dreams. He is fighting for a cause with diehard loyalty. I'm not going to resign. I'm inspired by fearless Nelson Mandela. My blood is black, green and gold. I will never form a political party. But if you're a muckraker, even loyalty has an expiration date. That's why we apologize to South Africa that we were part of misleading you. And we are sorry because we thought we were doing justice for our country. Our anti-euro has a plan up his sleeve. Just you wait. It's the classic tale of a phoenix rising from the ashes. And the burning fire is not just the past, but the ones who kicked him out. Take two. Malema proclaimed, a different baby is born today. A giant, a child that walks immediately. Comrades, this organization we are presenting to you has got non-negotiable policies. It's expropriation of land without compensation. Nationalization of mines. And those mines we nationalize, we are not going to pay for them. And anti-corruption. We are saying we are a protest movement. There is no elite here. These people you see here are ordinary faces. Basically the template of the heyday ANC for a free South Africa. We are the power. We can bring this country down to its knees. Download PDF, copy, paste. To continue with exactly what we're doing in the ANC, nothing changes. Revolution is about pain. Revolution is change, and change is painful. Some people are also making the, the comparison between your oratory and the powerful way in which you speak to the tendencies of someone like Adolf Hitler. How do you respond to that? <laughs> uh, that is an insult. A lot of the people who are disgruntled with Jacob Zuma will mobilize around Malema. They must liken it to Fidel Castro. We want to be like Fidel and we want to be like Cuba because we are inspired by people like Castro, Che Guevara, Nelson Mandela, and all the great giants who changed the world at an early age. Señor Presidente, no es nuestra intención faltar absolutamente en nada a las reglas que determinan nuestra conducta en las Naciones Unidas. Eleven months after the EFF's launch, 1.2 million said yes. Give us some juju. So please put that proposal on the table and then let's discuss it. And if they need their right, you can't say mm -mm because there is, a, there is a rule here. We work according to the rules. And so did Malema's high school sweetheart. Julius Malema has tied the knot with his longtime girlfriend, Mantua Matlala. The ceremony in a big white maquis outside Matlala's home was attended by 500 people. It's actually very mushy, you know? and loving and compassionate on the inside. That's a side that I feel people don't know or don't get to see. And if if he cares about something or loves something, then he, he's going for it. They got 25 seats in parliament, but staying seated didn't last long. Honorable members, take your seats. You all have a minute to take your seat or march out. Mama, it's a prompt. We must go. Some Nandas must go. Please leave. You don't have to tell us to leave the house. We're already Honorable members, leave own. the house. BFF changed the house. You eat Malema not in the parliament, like it or not. But I can hope some of you must see his business on the on the house. Even the dress code. In their own words, they made politics fashionable and worthy, and parliament vibrant. No one is going to tell me what to do at what time. I'm in charge. Mind of order. the ruling party by point of order. While South Africa is not giving it a standing ovation for an encore, we're all watching the spectacle. I have therefore come to the decision to resign with immediate effect. Honorable Malema, I've heard what you have said, but 
I fear for God. They must know that I'm not Nelson Mandela. Neither am I Zuma. You push me, I push back. If you want to know about a person who is tenacious, bringing various people together, even people who may disagree a little bit here and there <laughs> from time to time, who holds on and never lets go, that is that Mahmoud. Winnie Mandela has died at age 81. God bless Winnie Mandela. May you rest in the greatness of kingdom of God next to the most extraordinary people. I love you. Thank you. I'm here not so much to bury mama because queen mothers do not die. They multiply into million red flowers of love and freedom. I'm happy that today we are going to unveil our home. One day I will bring back my boy Julius Mulema. Yes. I'll bring yes. him home today. Yes. <laughs> he is our child too. But I remember South Africans, it all depends on you. I was shot through the back and my wife Unfortunately, it was killed. Malema, I will give him a rifle. I will load it and I will stand still so that he can finish what they began. They are rich here because they are exploiting black people. White farmers have accused leaders of some political parties, such as the economic freedom fighters, of using hate speech to encourage genocide. This is clear incitement to violence. This isn't a maybe, this isn't a gray area. This is Julius Malema telling his ground forces to go and attack. Shoot to kill. Shoot to kill, kill him. Shoot to kill Nyamazan. So Nyamazan is an animal. It does nothing positive for South Africa other than inciting violence and causing harm and bringing us closer to a war in this country. White South Africans, you have nothing to worry about us. If you are not prepared to share, then you are your own enemy. Omdat jij wit is, kan je toch zekerlijk niet lid van die EFF wees nie. Als ons niet gaan samenwerken, nie gaan hy racistische se scheiding groter en groter word en ons sê kom naar die tafel toe. Kom sit saam met ons, ons gaan saam met julle werk. Niemand gaan vermoor word nie. But those who are going to share, who are going to kiss each other, black man white white. What are you saying? Kiss the boer, kiss the farmer. I thought it's English. It is? Yes. And what does that mean? It means kiss. Kiss her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Would you uh, kiss this boer right next to you? I will not have a problem with that. Moms, can also afford to cry. Please kiss this boer. I want to fight. Please. Kiss the boer. How did you lose so much weight? <laughs> Jeff, you must uh, eat healthy, you must exercise, and then uh, quit sugar and uh, alcohol. Julius is skinny, people. I felt like a mom seeing her child skinny. Oh, Julius, and then? What happened? Did they take your land and your stomach? Jokes we laugh at. We don't get angry at jokes. We, we laugh at jokes. We love Trawanoa. We'll continue to laugh at his jokes. He's our brother, despite all the nonsense he said. You think Trump is bad? These crooks who are calling themselves journalists. You see, the problem here at home is that we are not that advanced with our journalists. Mm -hmm. Depends reassure. on the... On the How on do you the... reassure the foreign investor? No, no. You must give me a chance to speak, unless you want to have this interview with yourself. You say I'm inspired by Trump. It means you don't know me. Go and look at my video when I was very young, when I was attending to Jackson Mutembu. In one funeral, there was no Donald Trump. That's me. That's me. I will never change. Trump is a cry baby. But much like old Donald and anti euro himself, Malema has also managed to remain immune to cancel culture. And I like this thing of social media because the young ones are so creative. They go back in my days to 
compare what I said now with what I said then. When you see it being used like that, does it feel like it's being trivialized for political point scoring? If you are able to place my life, my very existence, as a point of debate, then you should not be calling yourself an ally jumping on the bandwagon, promoting their own work, using the LGBTI community as a ticket. It is not a problem. What if Museveni is lesbian or gay himself? It seems like Julius Malema never takes a vacation. When he's not calling for a national shutdown, he's getting his 007 on, watching from Russia with love. My guy, we are with Russia, we are not denouncing Russia, and we'll give it weapons if we're a state. There's no confusion about that. Unfortunately, my guy, it's a war, and there will be casualties. It is what it is. Even when there's no news, there's always something all to dig up. Don't want to go too far back into history, but at various times you failed to actually file a tax return on time. Yeah. You've been accused of different financial offenses. You've never been convicted, yeah. but some of those yeah. charges were never brought to court. But you tell South Africans, despite your own history, yeah. you are the guy to run their economy. The only thing you can keep on referring to is what you interviewed me about it 12 years ago. Get something new, my brother. No, I'm very... Show a skill. They say life reflects art, and art reflects life. The anti-hero character was once reserved only for fiction. Today, they live among us. For some, there's excitement. I march forward to the victory of our people. Rise, South Africa! Others are just waiting for what they've been banking on. The anti-hero's downfall. You are a bad lawyer, Shem. Uh, it goes without saying. You are a bad lawyer. Which leads us to the final scene of the anti-hero. Redemption or the inevitable end. I create the wind. So I can't go with the wind. I am the wind. I create the political wind in South Africa. But this story is not written by one. It's written by millions. So, Mr. Malema, what do you think? 